Yo, what's going on guys? FIFA 19 player ratings refresh. EA say it every single year. These aren't confirmed and we take them from Gamescon and they pretty much are. They only make a few minor tweaks. So what we're going to be doing today is having a look through some of the ratings. Do we agree, disagree? What would you change? Let me know in the comment section. And if you can support the video by leaving a big thumbs up, that'd be much appreciated. And if you are needing game codes or anything game related, head over to g2a.com, use the code Fuji on that site to get a discount on every single order stock up on psn xbox live codes get ready for the release and let's head into it so let's take a look at the first three number one romelu big man lukaku 87 rated which is a really good overall and the man's going to get goals even with the start that united have had uh, drop points against brighton i don't know what's going on with the united side they don't seem themselves not that dominant performance that you really expect. Maybe Mourinho has lost the dressing room a little bit. We're going to have to see how this season plays out. Lukaku, is he going to perform well on FIFA 19? I don't think so. Because if it's anything like FIFA 18, he just doesn't suit the build, the mechanics. It doesn't really work well for me. So personally, I won't be using Lukaku. I'll try him out, but... I don't think he's going to really uh, fit uh, into my side. You've got Paul Pogba, 88 rated. So he did get that winter upgrade on FIFA 18. So he goes into FIFA 19 without any changes at all. This guy has, well, I've seen, he's amazing. That's what people are saying. He feels a lot quicker. He just feels a better version of himself and that's how he should have played on FIFA 18 but you rarely saw him being used in teams at the start because his non informed just went missing he didn't do anything when he received that team of the match day oh my different class so hopefully he plays anything like the team of the match day version from FIFA 18 then you've got Fernandinho 86 rated I like that hopefully they bump up his pace just a little bit but I'm really looking for very nice passing stats good defending physical just a well-rounded ball playing cdm and i think fernandinho is going to be very very expensive so what do we have here two of the most exciting players last season mbappe 87 rated he won the world cup he won the liga one the guy has a lot of potential and he's already pretty much hit it so he's only going to get better mbappe how is he going to perform FIFA 19, from what I've been told, once again, he is the man. Like, they've made him so overpowered. And you know, on the start of FIFA 18, he was like 150, 200,000 coins. He didn't even feel that good. Clunky for me, just didn't really get on with the card. So I'm hoping I can hit the ground running with him on 19 and get the most out of him. You've got Dembele, 82 rated. He's actually been downgraded last season. If I remember, he was injured. So it's not really fair to uh, keep him at like a high rating. 83 isn't really too crazy, but it's still like, um, it's quite high. So maybe a downgrade was justified. With him playing well this season, he'll get that winter upgrade. You've got Mohamed Salah, 88 rated. Do you agree? Salah being higher rated than Mbappe. Uh, they didn't win the league, uh, fell short in the Champions League. But Salah himself, personally, he had an insane season. Like, one of the best. And he was so fun to watch. What a player. So, 88 rated Salah, 82 Dembele, 87 Mbappe. Do you agree? Let me know. So I'm excited for Leroy Sané on FIFA 19, 86 rated. So he started the year, I believe, on 82, got the winter upgrade to 84, and now he's gone up another two ratings to 86. Electric, powerful, height, strength. He should have four star, four star. That is the rumor. And if he does, he's going to be the sought after winger from the Premier League. I wouldn't want to put a price tag on him right now if it's four star four star with the height like i explained and very exciting to watch in real life nah i'm not putting any price tag on him nine golan 85 he's been downgraded but he still will suit the meta box to box good finishing uh good tackling so it shouldn't really affect people like not wanting to use the card so no issues there and he's transferred over to inter so you're going to be able to create some nice hybrids you've got roberto firmino 86 i was probably thinking like 87 at least like 88 you could argue but it's a little bit of a push 87 minimum the guy 
He's getting underappreciated. He's amazing. Come on. Firmino, 86. I don't agree with that rating. I think 87 would have been mine. But there is still room for EA to change. But like I mentioned at the start of the video, most of these stats are confirmed. It's a shame to see what happened to Bonucci, the rise and fall. A couple of seasons ago, amazing. Smashed it for Juve, got himself that team of the year, moved over to Milan, and nothing really was working. So that's affected his rating massively, 86. So comparing him to Chiellini that you're going to see, he's going to got himself an 89. But you know what? He's back at Juve. He's got that partnership with uh, Chiellini again, and I think he's going to have a good season. You've got uh, Skrinia. I never know how to pronounce this guy's name, but a massive increase from what was it, like 79 or 80 to 85. Huge boost. Uh, deserved, though. Very good defender. And I think that he's going to be one of the go-to picks in the Serie A. As long as they get his pace right and up those defending and physical stats, he should be an absolute warrior. You've got Sanchez 87. He just doesn't really look his former self. Uh, the Arsenal days, uh, one of the best players in the Premier League, goes over to United, and I'm just not impressed. And it's just my opinion on uh, Sanchez. I don't know if he's not fit in the system or if it's just himself not playing well. Uh, something needs to change. But 87 rated, he's been uh, dropped uh, just slightly. Uh, what do you think about that? Do you think he's ever going to get back to um, how well he played for Arsenal? Let me know. So it's not looking good for Arturo Vidal. Big rating downgrade to 85. Not only that, his pace has taken a huge cut. Uh, looking at some of those head-to-head -head stats, he doesn't look like one of those players that is going to fit the meta. Maybe after a couple of informs, he'll get boosted to like 74, 75. He's moved over to Barca, so they're going to play well as a team. It's just whether or not he's going to have a good personal um, performances. Still 85 yes and that was really uh, the question a couple of seasons ago is Sterling really going to be able to step up is he the right man for City and he doesn't look out of place I still believe he needs to work on his finishing and composure but the guy is uh, electric and he's really fun to uh, watch so deserved upgrade then you've got Van Dijk 85 rated the go-to center back in the Premier League. I'm actually scared to find out what his defending and physical stats are going to look like. Then his pace is going to go up. He is a man mountain. You wouldn't really want to face Van Dijk. Very, very good center back. And uh, he's got the wrong badge. Brilliant. He should be at Liverpool. So I was telling you guys a couple of days ago about Malcolm. Transferred over to Barcelona. And his rating right now is 82. He's gone up to 83, and then all of his other stats are going to change. One to watch. Maybe he will be an actual ones to watch card, but he's a player to keep an eye out on because he's going to be overpowered. That's my prediction anyway. Um, Titi. 87. You're going to have Rafael Varane. You're going to have Ramos that are going to be very, very expensive and high rated. And I'll do a video on those ratings in the next uh, day or so. Umtiti deserved though. Like the season that he had for Barcelona was insane. Uh, so 87. If they change his pace a little bit more, add to his defending and physical, just a brick wall. And then Fabinho... 85 rated it's going to be hard really to push this guy off of the number one position that really you're going to want to bring into your prem sides in that cdm spot the height the pace the defending the physical bakioko is no longer in the prem because he's gone over to milan or ac milan so fabinho he is going to be seriously expensive probably 80,000 plus at the start of the game. That's my prediction. 89 rated Dybala. Yes, please. Let me pack him at the start of the game so I can sell him for 800 to over a million coins. That'd be sick. That's the dream right now. But Dybala on FIFA 18, he suited the meta. Uh, he did uh, have a good shot, low driven finesse. But the problem that really held him back was the weak foot. That's what was stopping you from bringing him into those elite sides in the weekend league. So I'm hoping maybe from his FIFA 19 card, they add to the dribbling stats and they give him maybe a, a unique uh, set of dribbling or give him something that makes him special so you can just overlook the uh, three-star weak foot. Carl Walker, 84 rated. So he's been upped. He doesn't need it. 
every single FIFA you would expect him to be used in the pro teams, uh, meta squad, just everything. The guy is like the best right back to go for at the start of the game until we receive like uh, special man of the matches or team of the match days. You never know what's coming out. And then Icardi, 87 rated. It's about time he gets appreciated. So his card on FIFA 18 was like 84. Then he got upgraded to 86 and now he's been refined a little bit more on FIFA 19 with an 87. Good finisher, good ability on the ball, really like his ball control. I hope that he is playable, but he's just never really a player that people are interested in. I'll try him, see what he's saying, but too many um, faster players out there just they just work well that are cheaper so we we shall see so what do we have here guys messi and ronaldo both 94 so the debate has been put to bed just for another fifa uh i i think that's the way it should be even if like messi or ronaldo has the slightly better season it's too hard to determine which one is the best everyone has their favorites they're both the goats uh, it's incredible that they are playing at the same time 94 94 and it just goes to show that if this is the correct rating, Ronaldo being on the front cover with Neymar, it hasn't really affected him. So it's nothing to do with like uh, whoever's on the front or whoever's got like the deal with EA, they get the highest overall. That's what we've assumed over the years. Suarez though, uh, didn't really have the best of seasons at the start, then recovered and the Barcelona fans were saying that he was slowing down, missing chances, just not really playing uh, to the best of his ability. 91 rated he's been downgraded by the one but maybe he'll get that winter upgrade or in fact a downgrade we shall have to keep an eye on him 86 rated douglas costa that is the player that i look for 99 agility 99 balance now he's not going to have those kind of stats but I, i'm hoping for something close his pace uh, the ejection of speed yeah oh that sir oh damn Oh, damn. 86 rated Douglas Costa. That is the player that I go for. The agility, the balance. 99-99. Uh, it's not going to be that way, but it should be quite close to it. The acceleration, the explosiveness. And I hope that his uh, shooting stats get up to just uh, just a little bit because FIFA 18 he wasn't really that overpowered but with an 86 overall I'm sure he's going to receive some fantastic stats you've got KDB 91 rated and the rumors are saying that he's the man to go for in the Premier League playing him as a center mid but really as a cam the time finishes outside the box guaranteed goals with this guy like his shot I, I think that's what it is you notice that increase the shooting on KDB it was already good but my God, he's the go-to uh, cam. Then you've got Robertson as the left back, deserved upgrade. Please bump his pace up to like minimum 85. Come on, minimum 85. And I will be bringing him into uh, like 50K to 100,000 coin teams. Just using him uh, for, for the rest of the FIFA. Mendy, Robertson, good options in the left back position. That's what the Premier League has been lacking. And the last set of players that we're gonna be looking at today, if you wanna see some more, let me know in the comment section and also drop a like and I will do that for you. But we've got Mendy, speak of the devil, 81 rated. So they've given him the same rating as Robertson. And I would agree with that right now. Some Liverpool fans may disagree and say Robertson is the best left back in the Prem. Steady on. Mendy is class. Uh, maybe needs to work a little bit on his defending. I think it's good. But going forward, that's where this guy comes alive. Very powerful. Um, he can pick out crosses, passes. He looks like he's going to be one of the best left backs to go for on the game. You've got Valencia that's been given a downgrade. So Walker... He's run away with it. 84 rated Walker, this FIFA, Valencia 82. Still going to be useful in quite a few teams. Uh, so I don't really mind so much. Uh, Matic 86. 86 Matic? But he's too slow. Like his defending and physical are going to be great, but just a little bit too slow. And I'm not going to use them. I'm going to look to go and purchase Gattuso if he gets uh, an icon card. Is he going to return? I saw a leak, but I don't know how true that is. I'm going to have to do my research. But boys, that uh, those are the ratings that I have for you guys today. Let me know if you agree or disagree. Which ones would you change? Drop it in the comments. I'll do some more. Leave a like, and I will see you on the next one. Team out. Peace.